Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and enjoying your day so far. And if you're new, my name is Shule and I really love decorating my home, hopefully motivate you and I really love to inspire you. In today's video, if you like what you see, please do subscribe and join to my YouTube family. Before I show you how the Christmas version looks like, let's go down the memory lane and see how it looked like during fall season. I packed them up all two weeks ago and started my DIYs and I used this giant bauble for a bauble topiary and this one is from Wilco and I paid three or four pounds, I don't remember. These tinsel wreaths are from Poundland and I have two and I'm going to use it as a base. I have another large bauble from Poundland a few years ago that is going to go on top of this giant one and I will put loads of baubles in this wreath to create a beautiful, beautiful display. Last year I made a giant garland for outdoors and I am going to be using the same garland so I'm just color coordinating this wreath to go with that garland. Rather than using glue sticks, I'm using a silver pipe cleaner to secure my baubles this way. It's so easy to dismantle it if I change my mind next year. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Alternating the colors and doing one by one, creating a beautiful base for my chopri. And this one is going to go into my large pots in front of the house next to the main door. I finished off camera and I'm going to show you the results when I'm giving you the tour. Now let's tackle with this topiary. I only use hot glue gun but we had a big storm yesterday, everything fall apart, that's why you won't be able to see an uh, evening version because everything I'm going to show you was on the floor yesterday and some of the baubles I lost and my husband went and found them for me so it was a big huge mess due to the storm we had. I didn't want to use any permanent adhesive because I might change my mind next year to keep it fresh and do something else. That's why I'm using a hot glue gun. But I wish I used something permanent. All done. Now let's move on to doormat project. I will be stenciling my new mats from BNQ and this is going to be my very first Cricut project. My son bought me this for my birthday and I'm so so happy it's going to take my DIYs on another level. So loads more to come to your way and I'm starting with this giant snowflake stencil. I wanted to create some stencils for stenciling a black mat that I got from BNQ but unfortunately it did not work as well as I thought it would because it would not adhere or stick to the doormat because obviously it has a spiky texture so that I did not count into account so this is how it's looking after spraying but because it didn't have a close contact unfortunately spray went all over the place and it left marks i was doing this in the middle of the night and it was very very cold night and i don't have crisp lines i thought i would but unfortunately as you can see and while i was moving the top layer the protected layer it dripped because obviously it didn't dry in the cold night and i sprinkled some glitter i don't know if it's visible it looks just beautiful and now let's put some lights on the wreath and then I'm going to show you the reveal mm -hmm. 
I bought this item from Wilco, 50 pounds was the original price, but I bought it on sale for 35 pounds. Are you ready for the reveal? I cannot wait to show you. Here's the garlands I made last year and I'm using the very same garland because it's still very very gorgeous this year. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang sign? Solar lights are from Poundland again, and I'm so happy with the quality and I have it on both sides. Giant Snowflake is also from Poundland and it goes so well with this theme. Here's the final look. Unfortunately, Let It Snow is not exactly in the center. It was too dark, too cold. It was my first cricket Hopefully, I'll do a lot better next time around. Maybe for summer, who knows? Watch this space. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational for your own outdoor space. If you did, don't forget to click like and comment. If you did, let me know which one was your favorite. Until my next video, my friends, stay safe. Bye-bye.